I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 21st of July. And yeah, you know it's going to be hot for the rest of this week. That's the big story. But the tropics are interesting and uh, just maybe, maybe a system could impact Alabama at some point down the line. Let's take a look out the uh, window this morning with our SkyCam network. First off, coming from Montevallo. At the campus of the University of Montevallo, the sky clear, it's muggy, readings are mostly in the 70s. Up in northwest Alabama, there's a look at downtown Fayette. And way down south, Gulf Shores coming from our sky cam on top of the Phoenix, all sweets. Here's the water vapor satellite shot this morning, and yep, that old nasty heat bubble is building. The uh, thunderstorm masses will be on top of the heat ridge north of us. And that's where the severe weather action will be today. Severe weather possible from the plains of Montana and Wyoming all the way over to New England. Tomorrow, slight risk for the upper Midwest. And day three, which is Friday. Basically the same area. Here's a QPF chart. Uh, rain for the next five days. Of course, the heaviest amounts will be up north. Around here, the amounts range from near one and a half inches near Dothan to about a half inch up around the shoals. This is valid through Sunday evening at 7, so this carries us through the weekend. Showers and storms the next couple of days should be pretty widely scattered. However, rain chances could increase this weekend depending on this thing. Tropical wave that's north of Hispaniola. Guys at NHC have this at a 70% chance of becoming a tropical depression within 48 hours. At this point, it's not very well organized, as you can see. The models that identify this are fairly consistent. They want to move it up toward uh, Miami into the northeastern Gulf with a second landfall near uh, Destin, Fort Walton Beach, Pensacola, Panama City, somewhere of the Florida Panhandle, and that thing kind of hooks up into Alabama. Now, the uh, intensity schemes from most of the models uh, bring it down. Uh, they ramp this thing up to a tropical storm comes into Florida near Miami or Fort Lauderdale, and then it weakens and does not regain its intensity. And often storms that kind of cut up this way through Florida don't have time to re-intensify. Uh, so more than likely, the main impact on this thing will just be a lot of rain. We'll look at the GFDL, and if this is right, this is uh, it puts the thing into the uh, Florida Panhandle, again down there near Destin on uh, Saturday. And by golly, if that's right, that could wet down parts of Alabama this weekend. So uh, with the tropical system kind of waiting in the wings, puts a little uncertainty into the forecast. Let's look at the GFS. This is the OZ run valid at one o'clock today. And at this point, we're looking at uh, 500 millibars, 594 heat bubble right on top of us and down below that. Yes, there could be a storm out there, but they should be fairly widely spaced. Same thing tomorrow, pretty much hot and dry, upper 90s, nasty old heat heat bubble. We note the tropical low coming up through the Bahamas tomorrow. Friday, the GFS moves that thing slowly northeast. And again, it really doesn't develop it into a big tropical system. And, and all of the dynamic models don't. They maintain this thing as a tropical storm. Friday here looks pretty much hot and dry with upper 90s. Saturday, starting off the weekend, we got a short wave coming across the Great Lakes, and that should dent down the heat bubble enough to allow that tropical system to come up in here. Down below that, and you can see the GFS is a broad uh, uh, surface uh, tropical low that's coming into the Florida Panhandle. So that might suggest some pretty good rains for uh, parts of the Panhandle in South Alabama. And then Sunday, that moisture axis moves right up in here. So we might have to look at a pretty good chance of showers and storms on Sunday. I'm not saying it's going to rain all day, but with a tropical system coming in from the south, it could be an opportunity for uh, some, some decent rains here. So for those of you that have been praying for rain, this could be your answer right here. Uh, with Tropical Storm Bonnie, that'll be the name of this. Uh, so we'll start to lean that way in the forecast. And then uh, Monday of next week, uh, what's left of Bonnie just kind of dissipates and a surface boundary shows up just north of us. And again, that squeeze play could bring a fairly decent coverage of showers and storms. But Tuesday of next week, the ridge rebuilds. The 594 ridge and showers and storms will likely thin out. And a week from today, the old heat bubble sits right on top of us. So as you can see, we might have a, a decent crack at some rain in there late in the weekend with a tropical system, but the heat comes right back next week if this is right. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 5th of August. Ah, Ridge, 
over the West, trough over the East. And uh, that's been fairly persistent out there, so just maybe that will keep the worst of the heat back off to the West at that point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Thank you.